Previously on Connecting the Dots. Yakko, you can't go this alone. It's insane, I tell you. Insane! Usually that's to my advantage. Mud. Mud. I love your sound. I'm absolutely, positively wild about mud. I can't go around. Next up, uh, Martin, I'd just like to, uh, you know, ask you, uh, what kind of things are you working on right now? What kind of things you got cooking up for the peoples in the future? Today is looking into two Victorian photographers. I can think of a big clue. It's Roger Fenton um, and Gardner. Johnson, and they were the first official war photographers in history. So they went to the Crimea yeah. uh, and the American Civil War. So these were the first two wars in our history. It was the first world war. It was the first world war. And the find out the Crimea that... They're like the last of the Tartarians. Over there. And stories don't ring true. I, I know it off by heart. And the narrative stinks. There's something else. Friendly reminder to you that I am editing the clips together to be more coherent. If you'd like to watch the original ramble, the link is below. There was a bunch of civil wars that we cannot explain. Like, oh, yeah. We have like a hundred of years of civil wars in Russia, in medieval. So saying like St. Petersburg was the capital then why Napoleon was going to Moscow if the Kevin yeah, was it? Yeah, Petersburg. Yeah. and it was not protecting like Moscow. Moscow was huh. protected way more. Right? Moscow wasn't protected. It was abandoned by the Russian army and laid as a trap for the French army. Maybe if Numbnuts here studied a bit more of his own history, he wouldn't be so obsessed with learning about a fake history like mud floods. A couple I found today, Richard, while I was looking into it. Let's make it happen. Eric. Very tempting episode, evidence for yeah. atmospheric electricity being used. Uh, definitely, um, I'm Mudford, and it's a city that was um, had amazing um, exposition earlier than this time, which isn't showing up whatsoever. Very unusual. Fall and grab. Now, check this out for Mudford, right, guys? Check this out for all anomalies. This stuff is nuts. So, um, obviously, you know, I can understand that this is a river tributary, so this is a mud flat or a mud bank, not not dull. But why would you put houses on this temporary mud bank if it was going to be a flood zone? So I looked a bit deeper. This is by a German photographer who went there in 1998, um, 1898 to 1900s. And here we have our first major flaw with the supposed tempting evidence. Who was this photographer? What city is this? Why were the photos taken in the first place? You wanted to use this as evidence of atmospheric electricity and mud floods? Why do you think this counts as that? Pretty basic questions that neither Martin nor the rest of the panel seem to consider important enough to ask. Guess we're just supposed to take Martin's word on all this. There's no sign of the exposition, right? But you've got this happening. Why the hell would they build them antiquity buildings or power plants in the middle of a field with just a muddy path going up to a no infrastructure. Given that we have zero context about these photos, at all, I guess it does beg the question as to what is going on. If only we could know the name of the city, or possibly that building's name, perhaps we could learn a bit more about why this appears so desolate. If only. Um, it's just nuts. These are the streets of this uh, city and um, they're just piles of rock. One or two people around. Very, very quiet, okay? Not too much on the mud flood evidence, but still, the wooden buildings, very unusual. So this is out in the suburbs, but... With just any contacts at all, we could maybe understand these oh-so-burning questions. So mud, piles here, nothing happening, hardly any population. And then you get to the end of this really muddy thing. You can see there's people moving. There's one there. But you get this, right? Now I've got, got a few more of it. And then this population. They're on a the riverbank. And they come off this boat, which I've magged up on. They are Jewish. Yes, star. And they got on this wall here. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was the faceless night. I thought, what the hell is going on? Don't know what this is. You know what would really help out this investigation here? facts about the photos. Who took them? Where were they taken? If these photos had titles, perhaps we could look up what ritual is happening here and learn more about it. In the air, yeah. So they've arrived on these boats and they get like sort of 
Russian, Russian flag. Have you got these? Russian flag? Could this be a clue to follow? Nah, <laughs> nah, fuck that. Mud floods. Massive stone edifices behind, and this is on the on the sort of on the coast when they're arriving. It's really unusual. So this itself, look, these got no wires at all. Um, and there's something being seems to be being built, but it's a stone structure. But there's no people. I'm wondering who's building all this? No people. What the hell do you call all these people? Looks like a pretty busy fucking street to me. If only I knew where. Um, giant aerials on this one. Okay, but the aerials are not going to that. They're running parallel or perpendicular. Um, and, and he's just going straight to these. So very tempting for atmospheric. And again, there's it there's like some, I think there are some wires there, no? Yeah, yeah, you know, they're not near it. This is in front of the image, these wires. Oh, yes. yes, they're in front. They're not in the same thing. They're in front of it. These are behind, and they're running just straight onto these poles, you see. So, obviously, it could be flagpoles. Huh? But I... What? But it looks like there's a little little office up there for some reason. These... Absolutely. They go to wooding, right? Maximum wood structures. Don't know what it is. Don't know what they are. There's a boat that they use on the Volga River. Oh, right. And use um, our the huge, the huge wooden boats. You, you can find them in the internet. What's that to say there? Uh... I absolutely love that part. Let's watch it again. Some wood structures. Don't know what it is. Don't know what they are. It's a boat that they use on the Volga River. Oh, right. Just shuts his dumb ass down. Maximum wood structures. I'm just so happy. <laughs> Is that Alexandria or yeah, Alexandria the second? Yeah, it is. So um, it's a statue too, yeah. So why has Alexandria got a big present here? And in and in St. Petersburg. The same statue is in these pictures and the Russian city of St. Petersburg. Could this be a clue? Nah, mud flood. So bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Look at this, guys. Just mud, mud, and these structures. What they can build then? Yes. And it's just all in mud. These mud floods, as you can see, look. But yeah, still, are... you can see that this has been inundated. There's no doubt about it whatsoever, right? So at this point, I'll spoil the surprise a bit and tell y'all that I found the picture set these douchebags are currently jizzing all over. It is a set of photos from 1894 by a photographer named Jules Legra and is of the Russian city of Veliki Ustuk. The city stands today as a tourist destination, and in fact, most of these buildings are still around as well. I am saying this because Martin starts to talk about photos that are not part of Jules Legra's collection, but he never says that. A fair amount of the upcoming photos are not from the same town, yet the panel makes no attempt to point this out. I do not know if Martin is aware that these photos are not the same location, but he sure runs with it like they are. These three continue to masturbate and go on and on about the old architecture and provide no useful commentary or information regarding the supposed subject of mud floods. So I'm going to fast forward through until we get to a good bit. Crazy. It looks like it was like in Egypt or somewhere. <laughs> it's in Russia, man. <laughs> Russia's Philip. It's in the mental. Look at the bell beside it as well. Uh, it's so sweet, isn't it? I think it's uh, somewhere close to the river, Volga River. Yeah. This part kind of confuses me. It's obvious that Philip knows these locations and that they are from different towns, but does not do anything to correct Martin and his rambling. Martin, for his part, is either too ignorant or too stupid to source his own material. I would say it's a bit of a shame if I expected any better of this pack of idiots. But look, why would you what, what build such a structure there? So anyway, Philip, you know, such a beautiful structure and it's like mud spit. We see the pyramid in the back, the background. Look at yeah, that. Pyramid. Look at the sky. <laughs> I know, mate. Look at it. It's a step pyramid. It's not a fucking step pyramid. It's the Soyambika Tower in Kazan, Russia. Philip appears to know this. I wonder why he does not correct them. None of these structures they are drooling over are magical feats of engineering. They are tourist destinations that you can visit right now in Russia. No shit. Like the Tower of Babel or something. Look at it there, though. 
same thing on either uh, either doorway, Greco Romano. Wow. Amazing! I couldn't believe it when I found it. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, no, there's only a couple more anyway. So again, onion domes. <laughs> And these arrive, right? So you've got the, the Orthodox and a multitude of people. And look at the size of this wall. When the clipping out of this thing get built. Each of Jules Lego's photos were captioned. This one is of a prayer service. These walls have always been there. They're fucking walls. Paul Martin here is wedding himself to this picture that has captions that explain the answers to all his asinine fucking questions. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a couple of years following. Um, these are from 1998 and 1906. So I take it the 1906 ones are the people. So there's only like ghosts on these streets. I would love to know the source of these dates Martin is dropping. Because they're all fucking wrong. Stupid! You're so stupid! And look at that though. Why would you build that deep, like so, uh, on a riverbank? Snacks. And these, these are all yeah. mud these guys. Yeah. These guys on the other side, look. Go they back, go, like... go, go back like two, two slides when we see oh, all right. the river, river. Excuse me. Uh, one more. It's the river one, yeah? This. Yeah, look at the river. It's completely uh, wasted with mud. Yeah. And so uh, I think any any heavy rain makes this river to go out and make flooding. Sure. Because so it, all along, it, it was not dressed. It was not dredged for a couple of maybe centuries. Yes. Philip knows this is the Volga River. He could have looked up modern pictures and seen it is pretty shallow by this city. But he does not. It's pathetic. Also, to answer Martin's question of why build so close to the water, so you can fucking access it. Christ people, it's not that damn hard. Jesus titty fucking. Yeah, actually, Can you imagine, right, guys, standing on the other side of this river and seeing this great yeah. civilization, and then it's just on mud? Does it not fit? Right. It's like, yeah, where's the flowers, the, the great, you know, the decoration, the ornate bridge leading up to these amazing palaces? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it makes just, no just, sense. Just for praying, you know. Just, just for praying. Oh, right. That's what all the crosses are for. Philip knows that he recognizes these things. These are churches, not palaces. These are not pictures of some long forgotten, powerful civilization. This is Russia. These buildings are still standing. They have pamphlets. You can take a tour. And you add, they all arrive on this bridge. It's a multitude of people and they got one of these weird sort of setups and there's orthodox guys in it. And more wood again. Big yeah, I think, I think it's just a representation of some cargo code from the previous civilization. They they gather in this way. What are these then, Philip? I noticed I magged up in them. God damn, Martin is rude. Let Philip finish his thought. Of course, Philip was talking out of his ass as well. These towns did a lot of lumber exporting, which is why there are logs everywhere. It's not the remains of a powerful civilization floating down the river. You see all these mountains of wood on the bank in front of these... Beautiful yeah. yeah, so I wondered about that, and these slats under here as well. I thought it looked like resonators or <laughs> something technical, but yeah, they got all the people are turning up and they come off these boats. I got pictures. Resonators? I thought these folks were scavenging the remains of a previous great civilization. Now they are that great civilization? Why can't this just be a bridge? How is that the least reasonable answer? I know, I know. Look at that. It's pretty easy to build a wooden house, you know. Wooden house in Russia was pretty easy, but where are the trees? Do you see any trees? No, just muck. Besides the obvious trees in the fucking photo, the lumber you use does not come from your backyard. Do you think the cutting board you bought from Walmart grew from a tree in the gardening section? What do you think those logs you were talking about earlier are used for? Completely a devastation. Only only brick buildings survived. And that's it. And new wood buildings, wooden buildings that they made just to survive this flooding. Yeah, that's a survival hut. That's yeah. the way I see it. Yes. And they probably came. Ha! 
Did you see that fuck up? Literally. Literally? 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 Right after talking about how there are no trees to build these buildings, they show a photo of a river running through a forest. Oh, I can't believe it! This is simply embarrassing! Yeah, because this is just unbelievable technology. Unbelievable. Look at it, look at it. Somebody's coming. I wonder who, guys, because there's no one there. Look at that, it's a chandelier sticking on it. I mean, look who, who made those hearts. If you dumbasses would spend five minutes looking things up, you would know that is a photo of the Solovetsky Monastery. You can read about its history and who built it if you want to. It's pretty, but it's not that amazing or unique. I mean, I know, but look, there's no one there. They're all in the merge. Look at these things. Wait, what do you think powered that whole place? Right, exactly. Look at the yeah. wires coming off them, guys. It's 1894 Russia. There is nothing powering that cathedral because there's no power to that cathedral. The first coal power plant in Russia opened in 1922. You see that, Philip? They got yeah. artworks on this building in the resonators, and it's just in the mud, and they got like priceless artworks outside, guys. Look, guys, they got it showed up. You're the mud, guys. Look. Yeah, look. yeah absolutely. It's yeah, it's one of yeah. those buildings, like a power plant, but what? Look at the artworks, guys. Ah, what? That goes with the mud, doesn't it? The fuck are those sounds Martin is making? Is he trying out for a role in the next Alien movie or something? Ah, what? That goes. Ah.